Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Ah, yes, my collection. Sorry, it's taking forever. I got my Lunar games, RIP to all my animals. Yes, I do get them creative. So, it is what it is. Do you like it or not, it's my setup. Here's my uh, Warcraft collection. Sorry, it's dark, but that's the best lighting I can get on this bad boy. Warcraft 3, all that's sealed, by the way. I had to take Arthas out. Uh, here's one of my sealed Dragon Ball characters. I've been collecting them for a long time. I mean, the little ones are DC and Marvel. Uh, the rest of my sealed figures were stolen on BBZ. I was pretty upset. And sorry for the glitches on the camera. There's Illidan, Storm Rage sealed. The original, uh, Mega Man 2 X, Collector's Edition, still sealed, 30th anniversary. There's that helmet I wore in the reaction. Uh, Dragon Zord, still sealed from the 90s. Gundam Wing, that's Death Scythe Hell. Apparently he's worth something too. All the Final, well, some of the Final Fantasy VIII figures you know, I collected. I got me some Dragon Balls. Uh, there's the promo cards you only can get by going to the movie theater. And then my big action figure, Goku. What's going on, Hood Nation? Got to take the 23 meters. Are you ready, Gmo? Oh. Alright, well, it turns out I actually have to pay some more. Take a saliva test, blah, blah, blah. And turn it in. So, let's see some here. Hi, let's get started. Little card. How cute. We went ahead and registered that. And we got ourselves the bag. After we take the test, we put this there, this whatever, results in the bag, we zip it. And I'm not going to show you guys my special numbers on here. We just ship it back. It's pretty straightforward. Let's get started. Oh, I'm getting there. And sorry, everybody. I know y'all would really want to see me spit on camera here. I just, I can't reach it. <laughs> can't You can't record spitting at the same time. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this thing. Easy cap, and then there's one little itty bitty baby cap here we're gonna put on. And there you guys have it. The cap sealed on. Pretty straightforward how to do, and now we gotta mail it out and get our results. Uh, one more thing to mention, we do wanna put this in the back first. <laughs> 10K special here, and over 9,000. Um, yeah, I decided to do the 23N me test just to show you cats out there. What I am, buddy, as you can see here, I am 64% European. All right. Um, I just scrolled down because I do not want my name in here, but, uh, the blue makes up my father, and the purple in this geograph makes up my mother. Um, they clearly got it backwards, <laughs> because as you can see in the picture in front of you right now, uh, that's my mom, and, um, that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to update them and you know what this isn't just a fluke or maybe it is on their end because actually my brother took this test too and they did it exactly the same so I kind of wanted to see how they would do it you know we didn't want to give them a heads up like by the way you screwed up now we both have to email them and be like oh, by the way you guys got it swapped around pretty sure you guys know when you have brothers and sisters you do not share the exact same type of genetics that you carry down through the line. This is kind of how it works. I happen to be 64% European. As you can see, French, German, but I'm most likely German. That's pretty much what they said. So I really have no French carrier. So 18, the Poland. I've told you all before that I am Polish. Like I said, some of my ancestors were RIP from you know who, Mr. H in World War II. Got the United Kingdom, the Irish, once again, another uh, suppressed people. Spanish and Portuguese, 1.2. Kinda small, Scandinavian, uh, Northwestern European. This one's interesting because it says, these are represented by people from as far west as Ireland, as far as north as Norway, or as far as Finland. In other words, we're talking about some damn Vikings. That makes sense why I'm such a badass, you know what I mean? Vikings are fucking badass, so. And then we got that Southern European. Um. They'd be putting it away. Oh, Italy. Yeah, Italy's right there and all that jazz. Okay, right on, right on. Well, to be fair, I'm kind of a mutt, you know. My family, they got around. Right? They got around. Here's the African gene. Like I said, my brother, he, he scored around 40% African. I only inherited 35% of my father. For those of you that know, as a picture will be shown before you, again, that's my father. 
Um, I was told by him, though, that he was half black, uh, black and half... He said Kenyan. Uh, according to this test, though, he, he's Nigerian. At least that's what he's carried most of. But it appears. Liberian, Sierra, Congo, for that. Kenyan, Southeast African, Hunter Gatherer. I mean, there's a lot of noise going on right here that I don't even know about. But as y'all can tell, with, with the light, remember, this is a light flash and beam down me, so I do look a little bit lighter than what I normally look like. But yeah. Y'all can tell here, uh, this pretty much proves, you know, a lot of things. And then Asian and North African, so, or Arabic. Point two. <laughs> and then Asian. Yes! Point one. <laughs> That's why I like that anime. Nah, but, um, here, here's honestly the huge, uh, disappointment right here that's going to come back and bite me from sure a lot of YouTubers because I always tell people I'm Muskogee Creek because my grandma, and I shit you not, that was my dad's mother, she was native Muskogee Creek Amer American Indian in America, uh, down here, you know, in like Alabama and Georgia and stuff like that. So, my dad, from what he told me, was he was half black and half Native American Indian. So, either I just didn't inherit any of those genes, like I just took, my body just didn't take any of it. But even my br my brother got more Native, though, he did. His number was a little bit higher than mine. But I feel like I'm almost like that, uh, who's that politician, that Pocahontas or whatever, you know. Eating up all them free benefits, you know, from that, but... I remember she was talking like great 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 like this is straight up like my grandma and uh yeah in a nutshell though i i don't know what to tell y'all you know let's move on to the next thing and see what else we can find more i inherited more of my mother my mom jeans are pretty dominant now just a reminder again you're claiming this is my dad but <laughs> clearly my dad is not the european <laughs> German person. I just want to put that in perspective. You can see how much genes are dominant of me. Because it kind of explains who I hope, you know, what, why I look this way. Next thing we got here is Eternal Hopla Group. What do you and Ramis Third have in common? Ancient common ancestor on your line. Possibly unrelated to this Egyptian dude. This is like some mind blowing shit, everybody. Look at this. Paternal haplogroup. You descend from a long line of men that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over almost 300,000 years ago. As our ancestors ventured out of East Africa, they branched off into the first groups that crossed or crossed the globe tens of thousands of years. That's crazy to think about. Like, a lot of us cats are just like, oh, I don't know my grandma, my grandpa, but I'm like, Brandon, that's just like, damn, I'm going all the way back to Africa, baby. Turns out, though, I share the ancient paternal lineage of Pharaoh Ramis III. He defended Egypt in three consecutive wars during his 30 years of rule, but provoked the stint within his administration. He was catalyzed by mounting internal strife. One of his lesser wives, oh god, pardon my answer. For this little hey guys have it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video for my 10k special. Sorry I didn't get the 9k out right away, but turns out the 9 and 10k special had to be one and the same. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah, I will if anything changes, I'll definitely let you guys know updated through everything. Uh biggest disappointment I personally have, of course, is because I've always mentioned uh, many times on my channel and previous comments that I am native Muscogee Creek Na Indian. So now technically I can't really say that. I am pretty much as much Native American as that white girl running for politics, so <laughs> I really don't wanna say I'm one thousand tenth whatever native and I'm not trying to pull a fast one on making fun of anybody else. I'm just saying that I clearly did not inherit any of those genetics, so I don't know what the hell my grandma was, but she looked pretty native to me, so I'm very confused. 
Uh, there's a lot more things to click on this channel, or this website. Maybe I just missed something. Hope you guys did enjoy this special. Uh, if you guys want to join Hood Nation and stuff like that, you know, of course, you know, it's going to be above me right here. And of course, you know, we got some other things and stuff like that to get your feet wet. But for some reason, randomly, you clicked on this video and I ain't your cup of tea, I'll go find it. It's out there. Believe it. This room, do you think?